It is my absolute pleasure to warmly welcome Professor Rohit Bhatia from uh, AIMS uh, India uh, to join the World Federation Neurology YouTube channel uh, as uh, we continue to celebrate World Brain Day 2021. Rohit, a very good evening to you. How are good you evening. today? I'm good. I hope everything is good at your end as well. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. We are in the middle of a lockdown. Hopefully we can fight this out uh, and uh, beat the common enemy, SARS coronavirus too. Rohit, uh, tell our viewers about yourself a little bit uh, and your institution and your research interests. Uh, thank you, Tisa. So I, uh, I am a professor of neurology at uh, the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, which is the largest uh, uh, academic government aided hospital uh, across the country and uh, catering to almost all specialities uh, catering to undergraduate and postgraduate education and it's close to 2800 bedded hospital and uh, I work with the neurology team and we have a dedicated neurosciences center and uh, we take care of almost all subspecialities of neurology as well. My primary interests are uh, both for neuroimmunology with special reference to uh, central nervous system demyelinating disorders and uh, also in the vascular uh, biology and the vascular disease of the nervous system, stroke and venous side of an arterial side both. So as of today, my research areas of specific work include a work on multiple sclerosis where we're looking at specific uh, biomarkers for remission and relapse understanding of MS as well as the biology of MS using the uh, mRNA work. We also recently worked on our uh, cohort of neuromyelitis optica spectrum disease which we recently published and uh, I'm currently involved in both the uh, my, my own um, uh, funded uh, research projects on stroke as well as uh, the, uh, the, the postgraduate research work, both for uh, our neurology residents as well as the, the PhD. So uh, uh, it's exciting and uh, we hope that we could carry on with the same pace of the research, which is slightly slowed down because of the COVID pandemic as it is worldwide. So that's about it. Uh, that's great, uh, Rohit. That would uh, give us uh, the good segue to the next question. Uh, the, as you are aware, World Federation Neurology, which is uh, the largest uh, non-governmental organization uh, promoting brain health worldwide, uh, is joining hands uh, together with uh, Multiple Sclerosis International Federation, which is another large uh, non-governmental organization uh, promoting better care for multiple sclerosis uh, for a historic World Brain Day with the ambitious aim of stop multiple sclerosis. How excited are you to see this? Oh, that's actually uh, absolutely a brilliant move, I would say, because if you have a World Federation of Neurology, which is uh, one of the largest body looking at different facets of neurology, and I guess neuroimmunology has really emerged in almost all domains of neurology, I would say, just not about central nervous system primary disorders, but if you look at almost all components of the neurology, I think immunology is somehow got its place there. So I think when, uh, if MAS, MSIF and WFN have joined hands, I think that's a great uh, move forwards. And I'm sure with both big uh, bodies, with committed uh, bodies, uh, I'm very sure that this is going to go too far for both patient care as well as research. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, we're looking at a huge success story in the times to come. Uh, we certainly hope so. I think you hit the nail on the head. You absolutely spot on neuroinflammation is the key on everything, including stroke, as you and me both yeah. uh, know. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, the, the your colleagues, uh, trainees, uh, patients and their caregivers uh, would visit uh, WFN and uh, uh, MSIF website. Uh, we have created a fabulous uh, toolbox uh, and uh, the you can download them including press brief and use them as if they belong to you uh, and advocate uh, among local policymakers, funders uh, and, and media throughout the next couple of months uh, from now to World Brain Day on 22nd of July to World Congress Neurology and Ectrims uh, in, in late October. 
finally rohit uh, uh, what is your message to medical students uh, and uh, young neurology trainees and young neurologists uh, and our old colleagues also worldwide uh, what is your message to them uh, when uh, we are all back to the, pushed back to the wall by covid-19 by showing us uh, that there's only one common enemy and we are <laughs> in this together so what yeah. is your message to young generation who would uh, take over ruins uh, from us uh, reigns from us later on and also to our colleagues i think uh, i have uh, i think we look at medicine from a very uh, broad perspective always and i think uh, um, the field of medicine itself has its own uh, brilliance and uh, it's it, it it's uh, it's different conceptualization when it comes to a specific field like neurosciences i think it's such a huge field and there's so much to learn from it and there's so much to understand about it and we are evolving in our understanding i mean every day or every week we come to know something new and there is some new research which teaches us how to make either our diagnostic armamentarium better or our therapeutics better or understanding of the disease better so for for residents and for trainees uh, i guess if they 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 should potentially could consider a uh, future in neurosciences and it's a very exciting field and there is more to happen and there is a continuous process which is happening and i think this field doesn't have doesn't show any end i mean this is a, such a brilliantly progressive field that we learn we are learning progressively about it and even during the covid pandemic one part of the body which was hit other than the respiratory system was neurology and i think we saw most of the papers coming from neurology whether it is stroke whether it is encephalitis or whether they are extra uh, uh, you know uh, cranial manifestations like headache or myositis and so on so i guess um, neurosciences teaches you to be precise to localize to use your abilities to understand uh, make a clear perspective about a case and then of course open up uh, your your armamentarium of diagnostic aids and then therapy so i would definitely encourage uh, the younger generations to take this forward and there is a lot to come and a lot they can do for the future thank you so much rohit i wholeheartedly agree with you and wish you your family and your colleagues uh, at uh, aims uh, all the very best uh, and hopefully we would see the back of this pandemic soon and we could visit yeah. each other's face to face eventually take sure. care stay safe and stay well my wishes to you as well thank you thank very you. much pleasure